Don't do it. Don't major in just math, man. You don't need to. What's up, YouTube? This video is more like a warning, a public service announcement. As somebody who has a degree in math, who went through those four years, actually more like five, you really don't need that degree in math for anything. And I'm gonna tell you why. Let's get into it. So how am I gonna sit here with a degree in math and then tell y'all to not get one? As far as degrees go, math is a pretty hard degree to get. And there's really not that much support. Like I'm sure even if you're in a STEM school, you probably know a bunch of comp sci people and a bunch of people that are maybe doing other types of engineering. You probably don't know that many math majors. And that just makes an already difficult discipline even harder because now you're trying to do all this stuff by yourself and those those upper level classes man i was taking some classes where we would take midterms and finals where the class average was like a 30 percent and i know a lot of degrees are difficult of course comp sci computer engineering you know bioengineering all that stuff of course that's difficult too but the main thing about math is that it's also just not really practical it's not as practical as a skill as people tell you that it is. People try to say things like it's very practical, like you can go into finance, accounting, teaching, programming, analytics, pretty much anything you can, you know, chill out, like pump the brakes. Like just think about it for a sec. If a company wants to hire somebody to be a financial analyst or work in finance, they're gonna hire somebody with a finance background. They want to hire an accountant or like some an entry level accountant they're gonna hire somebody with an accounting degree like an accounting background they're not gonna just hire somebody who knows how to derive integrals by hand and in these math programs these math degrees like it's pretty much solid math they're using you're not learning any other tangible or like real world skills that will help you get the job that you actually want to get in my math program i didn't use that much coding I didn't do much about it with econ. It was really just straight up math. In order to make your math degree relevant, you're going to have to learn those skills outside of your program or pick up another major or pick up another minor. But you're gonna have to do something else to get those skills. If you wanna be an economist and you have a math degree, well, you're gonna have to also learn those economy skills and get like a minor in that or another major in that because who's gonna hire an economist who has no background in that? Who's gonna hire an accountant who has no background in that? Especially when they're being flooded with people who do have backgrounds on that all the time. So people with math degrees kind of go into like three different disciplines generally. This is a big generalization, but hear me out. They usually go into teaching, programming, or some sort of statistics or analytics type field. Now, if you want to become a math teacher, you know, maybe getting a math degree is good for you. Like, go ahead then. But if you want to do something with programming or software engineering or something like that, it's much better to get a degree in comp sci. And then maybe if you want that math background, maybe get a minor in math, but it's much better to major in computer science or something that teach you about computers and programming, you know, the skills you'll actually be using. You're really not gonna get that knowledge from math. Now that I work in tech, I really regret majoring in math because I didn't know much about computers, I didn't know much about programming, I didn't know anything much about hardware or software, or all these tech phrases were completely new to me, where if I had a degree in some sort of like computer information systems or something like that, I would've been so much better equipped for my job and I still could have gotten like a minor in math if I wanted to. And if you want to become a programmer, what you're going to have to do during the interview is program. And you're not going to get good at that just from your math degree. So you're going to have to learn that outside of your program, which is why it's much better to not get a math degree and find a program that'll teach you those computational and technical skills right in the program. And if you're going to be that analyst or statistician, like I'll tell you right now, if you if you want to be like a business intelligence analyst or something like that, do not, do not major in math. You don't even need a minor in math, okay? Just stare at me. You're making your life way harder than it should be. The only time you should major in math, maybe, maybe, if you're in the tech field, is if you're going to be an actuary or maybe maybe if you're gonna be in data science but i still 
would recommend against it. For actuarial science, major in actuarial science. Find an actuarial science program. And if your school doesn't have that, then major in statistics. It's way more practical and applicable to what you'll be doing than just straight up math, I promise you. Even statistics is just way, way more better and applicable. Now my field is data science. So I do see people with math degrees, but I see a lot more people with computer science degrees and a lot more people with just engineering degrees and a lot more people with just degrees that aren't even technical at all. And the way these people got into data science was learning the data science skills on their own, which you're gonna have to do anyway if you major in math. If I could do it again, man, my school had this program called Information Systems. Other schools might call it Computer Information Systems. You know, it's kind of, they teach you all about computers. They teach you a little bit about programming too, but it's a very technical path that can be molded into pretty much any technical career that you want it to be. If I would have majored in information systems, it would have been a lot easier. And if I really wanted to, I would have just picked up a minor in math. You know what? Some of you guys love the idea of having a degree that says math on it. Man, forget that degree and just minor in it. So you can get that still analytical background that you want to get, which I'm telling you is not as helpful as you think it's going to be. And just make your life all that much easier and make what you learn in school actually applicable to what you're going to be doing after school. So my last little bit of advice is don't overcomplicate it. Think about what you want to do. If you want to go into accounting, get a degree in accounting. If you want to go to finance, get your degree in finance. If you want to be a programmer, get your degree in programming. But don't like just get a degree in math thinking you can do this with it, that with it, and you'll have endless options because you'll be surprised at how much a math degree falls up short sometimes. Now, if you are majoring in math right now, don't get mad, don't get upset, don't throw your remote at the TV, don't unsubscribe to me and never watch my videos again. I will give you some good news. I am a data scientist with a math degree. It's perfectly fine and normal to have a math degree in data science. You're just gonna have to put in a little extra work than those people who have that programming background in order to learn those technical programming skills. And maybe if it is on your resume, people will think you're smart or something. But if you have the option to not major in math, don't major in math. That's all I'm gonna say. See y'all next time for a different video. Peace, deuces, I'm gonna see y'all next time.